Are you selling, buying, investing, or renting a home in 2023? If you are, you won't want to miss out on this real estate market update. I'm Evelyn Lopez with the Evelyn Lopez Realty Team and iPro Realty, serving Caledon and the surrounding communities of Brampton, Mississauga, Erin, Alton Hills, and Orangeville. And we just released our National Real Estate Market Outlook, where we share economist predictions for the coming year. In it, we answer burning questions like, where are mortgage rates and home prices? is headed? When is the pace of home sales expected to pick up again? And most importantly, what it all means for sellers, buyers, investors, and renters. Now, before we get into all of that, if you watch and enjoy this video, please let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button for more real estate information, news for the GTA West communities of Caledon, Mississauga, Brampton, Alton Hills, Erin, and Orangeville. Now let's get into the market update. Number one, mortgage rates may finally trend down. In 2022, the Central Bank of Canada had a series of bank rate hikes, which were in an attempt to curb inflation to their 2% target rate. There are signs that these increases may be coming to an end. What does this mean for you? No one knows for certain where mortgage rates will land, but if you have plans to buy a home or renew your mortgage in the coming year, you'll want to carefully weigh your options when deciding between a variable or a fixed rate mortgage. Reach out for a referral to a mortgage professional who can help you decide on which type of mortgage will work best for you and your situation. Number two, buyers will return to the market. The pace of home sales fell steeply last year as higher mortgage rates priced many would-be buyers out of the market. Some industry experts are predicting that the Canadian housing market is poised to turn a corner. The chief economist of BMO Capital Markets projects that existing home sales Sales will fall through the first half of 2023 and then reverse course and begin to rise later in 2023. So what does that mean for you? If you're a buyer who is waiting for conditions to normalize, now may be the ideal time to start your home search. As buyers begin to re-enter into the market, you'll face steeper competition and reduced negotiating power. And if you have delayed selling your home, this could be the year to make a move. Reach out and schedule a free consultation and and home value assessment to determine your options. Number three, home prices will stabilize later this year. Economists at CIBC speculate that home prices will hit a floor in the coming months. A lower five-year rate, pent-up demand amplified by demographics will work to establish a bottom in prices by the spring of 2023. Forecast Benjamin Tall, who is a deputy chief economist of CIBC World Markets, and Catherine Judge, who is director and senior economist at CIBC Capital Markets in Toronto. Other economists, such as Robert Hogue, RBC Assistant Chief Economist with RBC, offers a similar projection. He recently stated that we expect prices will keep falling until a bottom this spring. Also, keep in mind that listing levels have remained low and the low inventory has provided support for housing prices. There is still fundamentally a shortage of homes and it will take quite some time for inventory levels to be available for homes to meet the demand and further stabilize housing prices. So what does this mean for you? It can feel scary to buy a home when there is uncertainty in the market. However, real estate is a long-term investment that has been shown to appreciate over time and the best bargains are often found in a slower market like the one we are currently experiencing. If you're planning to sell this year, you'll need to chart your path carefully to maximize your profits. Now we can help you make an informed decision about the right time to make a move based on your situation. Reach out to us to learn more. Number four, rent prices will continue to climb. The rental market is extremely tight and rent prices will continue to climb. Many would-be buyers are facing affordability challenges, inflationary pressures, and the overall lack of housing, which is expected to continue to drive up rent prices. Rising interest rates and inflation are actually working to elevate rental prices because more people are not buying 
so they are renting more. The higher interest rates have also de-incentivized builders and developers from investing in rental properties, which has magnified the undersupply of available units. So what does this mean for you? Rents are expected to continue to rise, but you can lock in a mortgage payment and build long-term equity wealth by putting that money towards a home purchase instead of a rental. As the saying goes, marry the house and date the mortgage rate, which means buying the house that you love long-term, even if rates are higher. As long as you can afford the payments, you can always refinance your rate at a later time. Get into the market and start building your equity. Reach out for a free consultation to discuss your options and programs that are available for first-time buyers to help them actually get into the marketplace. Here in the GTA, West Communities of Caledon, Mississauga, Brampton, Halton Hills, Erin, and Orangeville, local markets saw similar trends as those experienced on a national level. There has been a marked adjustment in the market that began early in 2022. A combination of a lack of housing supply, which was further impacted by the rising interest rates by the Bank of Canada as it tried to combat inflation, created increased affordability issues. There was no relief from the OSFI, which is the Office of Superintendent of Financial Institutions, in terms of making changes to the mortgage stress test and other mortgage lending guidelines, including those pertaining to the possibility of having increased amortization periods that would have provided some release in terms of affordability levels for buyers. So overall sales within the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board for 2022 saw 75,140 sales, down 32% from the previous year's reported sales of 121,639. Keep in mind, however, in 2021, the Toronto Regional Board had its highest record ever of reported sales. So although the number of sales were down for 2022, that number compared with the pre-pandemic sales of 87,825, which we saw in 2019, were actually up. The number of listings for 2022 was also down, and this lack of inventory helped to support home prices. As we look forward to 2023, the inventory issue, unfortunately, will not be fixed overnight. The lack of supply has also impacted the rental market, as I previously stated. Many would-be buyers are finding themselves in the rental market due to affordability issues that were impacted by rising interest rates. And as a result, the rental market has become increasingly tight and we have seen double digit average rent increases. The average selling price for 2022 was $1,189,850, up 8.6% compared to $1,095,333 in 2021. This growth was based on the strong start to the market in 2022 in terms of year over year price growth. The pace of growth slowed in the spring of 2022 when the Bank of Canada began its aggressive increase in lending rates. But could all this change in the coming year? Click on the caption below to find out. Then contact us with any questions or to schedule a free consultation. You can also click on the QR code to schedule a free discovery call at your convenience. Or call us direct at 905-965-5902 to learn more about how the market affects you and what your options are. My name is Evelyn Lopez with the Evelyn Lopez Realty Team and iPro Realty, serving the Toronto Northwest, Caledon, Brampton, Mississauga, Erin, Holton Hills, and Orangeville communities. We'd love to help you achieve your real estate goals.